Brittany Maynard's short and meaningful life is over. Her family announced last night that the brain cancer patient took a deadly dose of drugs. They were prescribed by a doctor. She reignited a debate over end-of-life issues last month by revealing how she would die. Maynard was a few weeks short of her 30th birthday. A spokesman said she died at home, quote, in, in the arms of her loved ones. Just five days ago, Maynard said in a video, I still feel good enough, and it doesn't seem like the right time right now. Jan Crawford spoke to Maynard last month in her first TV interview. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. Um, when I sat down with Brittany, she told me that she hoped to make it to November 1st, that that was a goal. Uh, but she said that there was a good chance that she was going to end her life on that day. So Saturday, it was just a few days after she celebrated her husband's birthday, Brittany went through with those plans. I think until anyone has walked a mile in my shoes and knows what they're facing and has felt the, like, just bone splitting headaches that I get sometimes or the seizures or the inability to speak or the moments where I'm looking at my husband's face and I can't think of his name. Brittany Maynard's message was clear. In her interview for CBS This Morning, she said she intended to die with dignity. So to the people who would say, well, you're choosing to end your life, that's suicide, you would say, no, no it's No, cancer what? is ending my life. I am choosing to end it a little sooner and in a lot less pain and suffering. In her final Facebook message, Maynard wrote, I have chosen to pass away with dignity in the face of my terminal illness. The world is a beautiful place. I even have a ring of support around my bed as I type. Goodbye world, spread good energy, pay it forward. Last spring, Maynard was diagnosed with the most lethal form of brain cancer and given six months to live. She moved from her home in California to Oregon because of its Death with Dignity Act, which would allow her doctor to prescribe a lethal dose of drugs to end her life. In her final days, Maynard crossed a handful of items off her bucket list, including a trip with her family last month to the Grand Canyon. Have you thought about actually like letting her go? I'm not going to be a big weight around her neck at that moment. I'm not going to be a big wailing, crying, you know, that's not fair. That's not fair. It's going to be peaceful. Brittany said her only regret was that she never had children, but she took solace knowing her legacy would still live on. Through sharing my story, I've realized um, there's a bit of a legacy I'm creating this way, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed to touch my name to what I think is a right that should belong to all terminally ill Americans. I really do. Now, at just 29 years old, uh, Brittany's very public decision to end her life has put the right to die issue back into the national spotlight in less than one month. Her original YouTube video has gotten nearly 10 million hits, and it stirred this emotional reaction on both sides, which uh, really shows that this right to die movement remains controversial. Gail. I'll say, Jan, thank you. Such a beautiful, brave young woman. I keep thinking about her family today, but they were all together. Yeah. And as she said, finding a way to die with dignity, which yes. is I think that many people understand. Quite a decision to make. Thank you, Jan.